Hey guys, it's Rick with Art X Marine. Hey, today we're going to be working on this Boston Whaler. We're going to be showing you three different products. The, uh, the New Wave uh, All-Purpose Cleaner, the VG Variable Grip Compound, and the Ocean Polymer. And we're going to be working on this Boston Whaler interior. We've already done our hull. Our hull came out real nice. But if you take a look at the inside, let's just come around this way. You'll see this is a 1986 Boston Whaler. I mean, and this interior, I don't believe, has ever been touched. And we've got artificial light here, so I don't really know how well you can see it, but it, this gel coat is just totally oxidized. No shine whatsoever. And it's that way really all the way through the boat, the non-skid down here, and just all the way back. The insides of the gunnels, uh, over on the other side, the helm here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the, the oxidation on that helm. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just pull that windshield and pull whatever we can off of here. We're going to wash it down. We're going to do like a waterless wash with the new wave. Uh, we're just going to mix some up in a gallon bucket, our five gallon bucket. And we're just going to take a Scotch Brite pad and we're just going to wash this down. Then they're going to wipe it down with a polyfiber rag or a microfiber rag. And uh, that's going to just pull all of the dirt. It's going to start to strip off of some of the oxidation. And uh, hopefully just after that first cleaning step, we'll have a little bit of uh, a little bit of shine here. And then we'll go back and we'll hit that then with the variable grit or banishing grit compound. Starts out about 800 grit and goes up to infinity, which leaves absolutely no swirl marks. And then we're going to come in behind that with our ocean polymer for protection and this will protect this boat which sits usually out back on a boat lift in the sun all day every day um, so we'll want to put a coat of this on here yeah, about every three or four months we'll uh, keep this this gel coat protected but uh, that's what we're going to do and we'll get some video along the way as we do it so let's get to it and we'll get back to you in just a second Hey guys, I wanted to mention too that we've, uh, before we even got started here, we pulled off all of the teak pieces and we went ahead and we sanded them down and put a sealer on them. Uh, this is something else we do at Naples Yacht Services. And, uh, you know, this stuff, it hadn't been touched in since 1986 either. And now it's looking, it's looking like brand new. Uh, but there's quite a few pieces here, there's a lot of trim pieces and whatnot. It's a little bit tedious. This is the uh, the backrest of the helm, and uh, it's a little bit tedious to sand it all down, get into all the nooks and crannies. But when you're done, you can see it's well worth it. So uh, if you need any help with with this kind of stuff, just contact us through the website rnxautomotiveandmarine.com, uh, and we'll be more than happy to happy to answer any questions that you might have. And as far as teak restorations go. So let's get on this thing. Okay guys, we're getting ready to clean this thing up. And uh, you know, this would be a lot easier if we could first just kind of hose it out. But what's kind of cool about this stuff is that, like I said, you can do almost a waterless wash. And what I've did is mixed up this spray bottle, which comes with your measurements over here. We're at about you know, a little over two to one on this mix. And then I've got about, oh, about three, four ounces in this bucket. Now, New Wave being a, a high alkaline, hot, super concentrated uh, all-purpose cleaner, if you have sensitive hands, you might want to use, uh, in fact, you definitely want to use the latex gloves with this stuff. Um, Chris and I, we've been doing this stuff for over 20 years, and we're just not real sensitive to that kind of stuff. But what I'm going to do here is we're just going to start scrubbing this. And we've got polyfiber rags close by. And what's really great about this is there's a lot of places that you can't get to with your buffing wheel. So doing this kind of a clean, almost, I mean, this, this is going to almost strip off all of this oxidation and have this thing just about ready to polish. Now, you know, these big open areas, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit these with the BG. But this is great for just cutting in. And I'll come up here so you know what I'm talking about. 
cutting into those places that you can't get to with your buffing wheel. There's just, it's just impossible to get everywhere with the wheel. And this will just strip this oxidation really fast and it doesn't hardly take any work to do it. You don't want to let it dry. You want it to stay wet. And then we're going to take a poly or fiber rag, wet it, wring it, and then we're going to come back in here and wipe it. And this is actually just got this is the rinse. Instead of using a hose, I'm just going to wipe it with a fresh microfiber rag. And once we're done, as you can kind of see, there's a shine already starting to pop out here a little bit. And we'll hit this area too. These areas that we cut in on. And uh, this is going to turn out really nice. And I won't bore you with me video, with me washing this whole thing down. So we'll get back to you here in just a little bit once we've got our wash down. And then we'll start laying on the BG. And I'll show you how that's done with the, with a high speed wheel. So we'll get back to you in a second. Okay, guys, we've finished up with the new wave cleaning on this uh, on this gel coat, pretty much on the front whole front forward section here. And I'm going to have Chris continue to go ahead and clean it on back. And I'm going to start with the BG compound up here. And, you know, this stuff is just, like I said, it's called BG. They call it variable grit or vanishing grit. And the, the nice thing about it is, is it's, it's water-free, silica-free. Um, it starts out at an 800 grit. And then it it's actually, there's aluminum oxide, like, pellets in here that are actually that make up the grit and when you work this with a high-speed wheel it actually causes friction and it heats the material up and the grit actually just melts into a high gloss deep luster shine that's ready to throw some protection on it's you know it doesn't protect but it, it just cleans and it, it just cuts all of this the rest of this oxidation down and the reason we do it with the new wave, because if you start running this, the new wave is kind of like your prep when you're doing a paint job. And, you know, when you're painting, they say that prep is everything. And the same thing is when you're restoring gel coat, is if you don't start with a clean surface, then you're just compounding dirt and grime, and you're just rubbing that stuff back into the surface. And you're going to see with this stuff, we're just going to put a little bit on right up in here. And see if we can't get you a little idea of how it works. And this this is a DeWalt buffer. These are awesome buffers. We do this a lot. I mean, we do this professionally. So you know, we spent you know we went ahead and we sprung the money on this real lightweight. You can pick these up uh, not not DeWalt, but you can pick up um, a high speed buffer at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, they have them, you know, starting at around 50 bucks for the do-it-yourself kind of, kind of guys that, uh, you know, but it, it really comes in handy having this kind of a machine because it just makes your job so much more easy. And I am so all about easy. So I'm just going to kind of rub this material around. you got to let the material do the work. So you got to have coverage. We're just going to start out with a real slow speed here. This is on about 800 RPM. We're just going to spread the material out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lock my trigger. Spread the material a little bit more. I'm going to kick it up. A little bit of pressure. Dust. That's not dust, you see, that's actually wool coming off the pad. This stuff is almost just free. It's also making it feel nice, so you ain't going to clean up after it. You go right from there, right into uh, putting on the ocean polymer, which is the protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
show you the shine on this and I'm just get a polyfiber rag right here. We'll wipe off this residue and I'll try to get a camera angle where you can actually see this shine because in this light I'm not seeing nothing. sunlight coming in this side window. Mm. You want to wipe off your residue. Got a little bit of sunlight coming in this back window, or the side window. So we'll see if I can get Chris to hand. Can you see it? Being a light color like this, it's kind of tough to see as well. You definitely want to wipe off your residue if you have any material left. And then like this area here, we're just going to work this by hand because we can't really get our wheel up in there. But when I'm looking at this from the side, I can see the shine here. And I mean, it's really smooth. Really, really smooth. And uh, like I said, very, very little dust. You can see right up in here the shine. And uh, this is going to be ready for a coat of ocean polymer. And we got a little bit of work left here, so uh, we'll get to it. We'll get back with you guys here in just a little bit. Hey guys, we're uh, we're back on the 1986 Boston Whaler that we've been restoring the uh, the gel coat on the interior. We've already done the uh, the exterior hull. And it came out real, real, real nice. Just a look at this. Now we are under artificial light. We have a very cloudy, rainy day outside. So we do got a nice place to work here. Um, one of the things about working in this kind of light is you really can't see what your results are going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe this thing down before we put on the ocean polymer with another Ardex product called Hydrogloss. What it is, it's a cleaner and a Carnuba wax can combine. And what that's going to do is it's going to clean off any of the residue that might be left behind from our VG compound. And it's going to just prep our surface uh, beautifully to apply our ocean polymer. And it's, it's kind of a, like almost like a waterless wash. Uh, the hydrogloss is highly concentrated, mixed with water. Uh, at about, uh, we're going to have it probably at, a, probably at about a, a 5 to 1. Uh, it comes with mixing instructions on the bottle and uh, you know so it's really easy to mix up but like I said it is highly concentrated so a little bit goes a long way and you just you just spray it on you wipe it off um, if your car or your boat is really dirty uh, it's a great way to just keep the keep your car looking great or your boat looking great all of the time uh, if it's just a light coat of dust or dirt you can just like I said just spray it on and wipe it off if it's real dirty and gritty give it a little bit of a wash and uh, then while it's still wet you just spray on the uh, the hydrogloss and then wipe it down with a microfiber rag and you are looking good again so we're going to get through this thing and we'll get back in here a little bit and see how she turns out I'll get a bit. all right guys uh, we're doing the ocean polymer on this thing we hit it with a hook uh, a little bit of, we wiped it with hydrogloss just to get the compound dust off and whatnot. Uh, the VG, even though it's 
very low dust doesn't mean that it's not it's no dust but so we uh, plus it's closed out over the weekend so we in a, in a garage so it had dust we built a, a garage dust on it too but um, our lighting in here is terrible uh, we did go ahead we hit uh, all of our railings with the ocean polymer as well and uh, you know this looks like an eight six so if you get down and take a look you know some of these mounts and whatnot are just you know, they're pitted and corroded, and there's short of replating these mounts and whatnot there, they're just not coming back to brand new. But the finish, as you can see, the gel coat, that's what we're really working on. And that's what came up here really nice. And uh, I just applied this with a with a microfiber rag. I took it off with a microfiber rag. Uh, it didn't, it's very humid, so it didn't dry completely, which is okay. Uh, this material, you know, it, it, it can be a plug in if you let the haze up or you can take it off wet. Uh, it works great either way. And uh, I think the other's going to be real happy with this boat. And we've kind of taken you through all of this with uh, the wash down with the, um, with the Scotch Brite pad and the New Wave cleaner. It's an all purpose cleaner that starts stripping and prepping your surface. Remember when you restore gel coat, it's kind of like do a paint job on a car. Your prep is everything. And unless you have a clean surface to start with before you start compounding, you're just going to compound that dirt and dust and just keep grinding it into the gel coat. So you want to make sure your surface is nice and clean. Then you go back with a good, uh, in this case, we use the VGA from the VG compound, which starts out at an 800 grit. And uh, then it just actually kind of melts away into infinite grit. And you wind up with a swirl free finish, like, kind of like what you're looking at here. And then uh, we go back in after that and we put our protective coating on or our wax or whatever. In this case, we use ocean polymer. It's a salt resistant, UV resistant polymer wax that really, really protects quite nice for extended periods in extreme sun, extreme weather, and extreme heat conditions, extreme salty conditions. Works great on cars in the you know, wintertime if you live up north uh, and you're tired of that salt spray in the wintertime rusting out your car, put a coat of motion polymer on it before the snow starts falling and before they start starting the roads and uh, your car finish will appreciate it and, and you know, keep that up throughout the winter season and keep your car protected uh, from the salt. That's, that's really what this stuff is designed to do is it is a salt resistant sealant. And, uh, it was designed for marine applications, but it sure works good too for, uh, for protecting your car in those, in those salty roads. So uh, we're going to get back to this thing. We're going to go ahead and finish it up. Might get some shots of it when we got all the teeth put back on and everything. And uh, hope to get back to you real soon.